I actually think it's a good idea to just make your own t-shirts. Like, let's say, like, you got your own company, you need to make some employee t-shirts, so they're going to look professional. I mean, heck, the amount of money you're going to spend ordering, like, some t-shirts, custom t-shirts from somebody else, you could have just bought yourself a machine and made it yourself, you know, and it would be, like, a lot, like, it's, it's a huge savings because it's under $200 for everything. You could make your own custom mugs and and hats and everything. So kind of like as a company, I think uh, this is just great, you know, saving money. And then, of course, if you got a T-shirt printing business, why not? This is a good start. You know, I, I don't even know, like, what else do you need, like, besides this? I mean, if you have, like, a lot of business, obviously, you're going to be upgrading. You're going to be getting other stuff. But this is a luxurious system. According to this book here, it is a luxurious. Uh, they definitely focus on quality in here. So it's actually quite nice. I'm, I'm very happy with it, guys. Hello, guys, and welcome to another David Zamolata. In today's video, I'm unboxing this. This is a t-shirt printing type of a setup. Uh, you could have your own business printing t-shirts and you could just make your own company t-shirts if you want because this here, I paid just under $200. But I'm pretty sure it's just on sale right now on Amazon and the price is probably not going to last because, I mean, for a very luxurious system as this is because they do mention that it's using the latest and greatest technologies and stuff like that, which is a mouthful over here to try to read everything. Uh, I mean, it's instructions after all. It's not like it's a bedtime story. So there's plenty of good information in here. Definitely a good read. But um, I will be going over all of these details in here and what you could be doing with it and stuff like that. But this is not like a tutorial. This is just me showing you guys what I bought for myself, what's included, what can you do with it and stuff like that. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you already know which, why you need like a heat press and you're probably looking for like a good deal. So this is definitely a good deal. It's definitely high quality. And at this price, you're getting a lot of stuff here. You got this awesome heat press over here that presses down for printing t-shirts. Uh, you could swap this out for printing hats, uh, well, hats, caps, and stuff like that. <clears throat> you could also print like bags and you could print like plates uh, of different sizes. <clears throat> and uh, you could print your own mugs, you know, custom mugs. So that is real awesome. So basically, a good start for anybody that's trying to get into t-shirt printing business. So enjoy the video, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I actually do a lot of interesting stuff on my channel. Take a look. I have like over 700 videos. And uh, hit a like if you like the video. Enjoy. So here we go, guys. I got this big box over here. Let's go ahead and actually get it open and see what's inside because in this box, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in there and uh, it's actually really cheap. We do have the menu. This is how to set it up and believe me, it's gonna be very important. Uh, before we get to all this other stuff, this is instructions, and look at all these things that you get to make with it. So we have this, seems like it's for cups. Um, we have like four rubber legs. We have some kind of power unit. We have some kind of round, you know, type of pop plates. Looks like, I don't know, like probably like a hat type of thing. Gosh, this thing's heavy. All right. Let's move some of these things to the side. And I do want to make sure that I'm going to share with you guys, like the assembly instructions. Guys, this is like serious business. I've never seen a heat, pr heat press at this price with like... It's, I mean, it looks like a, like it's the real deal. Like, it seems like this should be in a factory somewhere with a bunch of other heat presses working overtime. Okay. I already see where the legs go. Look at that, guys. This is the real deal. <clears throat> so, 
looks like we have a connector. This looks like a, a charging port type of cable or informational type of thing. Here's another one. So that's a two, that's a four prom. So it seems like, look at this, like this is awesome. And then we have this type of pad. We have another pad. And this pad is quite heavy. Like this is supposed to be like heat resistant. And there's another padding. So I'm going to have to learn how to do this exactly. But obviously this has everything I need. Nothing that I don't. And then this is the way you lay, lay it down. So it seems like, you know, this is nice and tight. But obviously we haven't plugged anything in. You know, uh, which will be important for me to do. What is this? Man, I'm like a, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. This is, this is very cool. Like wow. Um, let's get this out. So it seems like this is kind of like um, part of this other thing. I don't know if this is all kind of like plugs in as one unit or it shares like different type of uh, power supplies. So here's uh, again four prom and a two prom. Uh, I believe. This is kind of like several different heating presses. Like this is for the cup. It is separate from the t-shirt. Let's see. Let's unbox this uh, power unit here because this is going to be supplying power. Um, let me, uh, I guess, uh, undo this uh, zip. Uh, well, I don't know what it's called. It's metal thing here. So, it is an off position right now. Here's an on button right there. Seems like it's got some kind of slider piece over here. So it's gonna slide on over here somewhere. I believe somewhere over here on the right side. So uh, we do have, what is this? Uh, fuse. So that's a fuse right there. So you could actually uh, spin it out. That's a fuse. So let's put that in, put it right in there. Let's see. So <clears throat> very simple, two prom, four prom. There it goes. That is that. So I wonder if this is somehow like you have to like uh, attach it somehow. We will see like in the instructions, but we slide this in over here. I believe this is where it goes. Yeah, look at that. Um, I don't know if we're actually capturing this on video. Like right now, like there it is. You see? So there's the display. So for us to actually set this machine up, we'll have to, this is a two prom, plug it up. Okay. What is that looking like? Okay, it's right here. So that is good. Now we're gonna need to plug this one in. And let's see here. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna have to um, tighten the connections. This is very, um, Common sense over here. I mean, it's just a couple plugs. You tighten everything up. So it seems like um, the cables, they are also like they got this heat protection on them. So, so basically plug and play. So we got the power cord over here, plug this into the wall outlet. We're ready to print t-shirts like, wow. I was just going to get a machine that's like not even like this. It was like a really a standard type of thing. You kind of like pull it down, but this looks very professional. I really like that. Seems like we have the legs and the legs, they need to go here. Yes. Seems like it's just a couple little turns and then that's it. Like they they put on. Very simple. So it's got nice rubber legs. Um, we won't need any of this uh, blue here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it off. 
so it's nice that they protected it for you know to come here so uh, this is like very exciting to finally have my own heat press boom look at that so obviously when you put the t-shirt down you're gonna need to you know have like the padding um, at the very top and then bottom and stuff like that and you know to protect uh, the t-shirt better so I don't know which method yet but it's okay we're gonna find it out anyways um, so let's put this aside right now here we have another little deal so So we got this piece that kind of came together with that. So it seems like, is this for hats maybe? It's got a four prom press. So let's see what else we have. Okay, I think this is four plates. Possibly. So, looks like it's just like this. So, I wonder how it works. Uh, never done it before. I guess this kind of heats up. Well, and then in that case, it means this metal will transfer the heat through this orange thing and then, you know, transfer to the t shirt. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, like, if you attach this somewhere here on this machine. I have no clue, but um, I'm thinking at least uh, this will have to be attached somewhere. Yeah, but anyways, going to take a look at the instructions and let you guys know. Hey guys, I know a lot more about this machine now. Um, I did take a look at the instruction, which is right here. Um, there's not a lot of reading. There's about eh, three, like four, three, four pages. Um, and I did find out what each of these things are and guys I am very very impressed because I was kind of thinking okay what is this what is that and it is obvious that this is for for a hat and I was kind of thinking I could see it's got a slider in here and how does that slide in and then this is for heat pressing plates and heat pressing plates right here and I guess you could press anything else like with those things that's like round and stuff like that if you need to uh, maybe you do have like something round and then of course this is for pressing cups right here mugs basically um, so here's what I want to actually uh, tell you guys so of course we got this unit plugged in let's go ahead and actually turn it on and this got like a self timer and stuff like that so we're not gonna really focus on the menu right now too much we're just gonna like turn it off because it's uh, pulling a lot of juice and stuff like that it's slowing down my fan in here um here's what i will tell you guys um let's set this aside this does rotate out of the way it's got like a little locking mechanism here and you could actually rotate this out of the way i got my screwdriver back here so when you rotate this out of the way you can actually remove this and you could simply slide this out so you could sl slide this piece out. Of course, be careful. This is uh, this is a heavy machine, so it could like tilt over over here. So, um, and then you take uh, your headpiece. This is for like making hats, and you could put this in here, twist it over, um, and of course. Um, this removes as well so i'm gonna actually show you how to remove that but well let me first uh, slide this out okay there's a couple screws over here so you just basically uh, undo the two screws and then you just uh simply slide it out there's a, cu a couple little things back there you just basically pull it forward this way and then this piece will slide out and instead You'll take these same screws and you pop this in there. So now this is going to be in place. But right now these screws are kind of tight. And, uh, you know, I don't think I could get them loose with this screwdriver. It's just not enough uh, room for me. So they're, they're pretty tight. So 
this is all I have right now uh, in my studio but just a screw here a screw there you pop it open boom pop it out and then you know now you're ba basically making uh, you know caps and stuff so very very easy to try to like set it up so I'm gonna try to put this thing back in here so now now this thing is uh it's in place and when I slide it all the way in, it's actually aligning perfectly over here. Uh, I believe you can lock it in place, but I'm just going to keep things as, as they are right now. There is a couple screws uh, over there, so you just basically you could tighten it up from the bottom. Um, and of course, uh, this power supply, once you're actually, you know, ready to make some plates or whatever, or hats, you know, you could just basically... Uh, install this over here and you know you could use the bottom of course for the plate it's fine um, and when you're done just need to insert these uh, foams in here in between uh, your t-shirts and stuff not to burn anything and then you know you could put a t-shirt over here and then put your design and you I think you slide this in over here I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to like take a look at it because I just I just got this machine so that kind of makes sense to me because everything else got this orange uh, type of, uh, you know, heat type of thing. So possibly, possibly I'm wrong. Possibly uh, the t-shirt just goes straight on here. I don't know. But uh, it doesn't really matter. The, what does matter is this is a luxurious machine. It is uh, high quality made. It is made out of uh, pretty much aluminum, I believe. So for what it's worth, I mean, it's not like that heavy but it's heavy where it needs to be so it does feel like a solid construction to me and i really like it guys and you know i like that it rotates and if you don't want to rotate it you could just basically lock it up over here um so now it like doesn't rotate and you could lower things down and then like this little thing here you could basically um you know once once you actually unlock it you could control how hot how hard like it will actually uh press down on something and then when you like the setting, you just basically put it like that and then lock it back in place. So I actually really like that. Um, so when I'm ready to make my mugs, I just need to unplug everything from the power supply over there and just basically plug this in. And uh, looks like it's going to be like this. And then I'm just inserting, you know, mugs in here and then pressing it in like that. So it also has a little adjuster over here for how much you want to actually you know press it in and stuff so it is actually very cool i'm very happy with my purchase it's a very good deal um i think mostly you're gonna pay like a little bit more than this uh for just a regular type of a t-shirt type of thing but this system here guys um you know according to the read it is a special patent technology that it lasts like a long time um just the way it's designed and made and stuff like that and it like turns off like there's a lot of stuff in here that they put in that it's it's really worth mentioning um basically basically uh like the silicone pads withstands uh 400 uh, centigrade um there's a lot in here guys it's a huge read but this is just in a box and i just wanted to show you guys kind of like what this has in here and what can you expect obviously i haven't made t-shirts yet i'm just sharing it with you guys kind of like what i bought um i will be making another video of showing like the actual process of how i'm going to be like making t-shirts i still need to kind of like find out a lot a little bit you know do a little bit more reading there's plenty of instruction here like what you got to be doing for the most part guys i already get it i plug this thing in like everything's working basically put a t-shirt down put your design boom it's gonna have a timer it's gonna let me know like when to basically stop like it's a it's automatic uh, stop timer so that is actually really nice but obviously there's other kits they have like other type of uh you know different type of stuff included but i pretty much got this whole machine i got this those pieces and this here um i believe i have the g type of cup over here then i don't have these other things which i really don't need them you know but uh, i guess you replace the piece right here for the cups with those but uh, that is all folks uh if you like this video please hit a like if you want to actually pick up this machine for yourself 
take a look i'm gonna have a link in the you know description below for the amazon listing where you could find this hopefully you could pick up this thing on sale and then start your business you know selling t-shirts and you know like making your own at least um i actually think it's a good idea to just make your own t-shirts like let's say like you got your own company you need to make some employee t-shirts so they're gonna look professional i mean heck the amount of money you're gonna spend ordering like some t-shirts custom t-shirts from somebody else you could have just bought yourself a machine and made it yourself you know and it would be like a lot like it's it's a huge savings because it's under 200 dollars for everything you could make your own custom mugs and and hats and everything so kind of like as a company i think uh this is just great you know saving money and then of course if you got a t-shirt printing business why not this is a good start you know i i don't even know like what else do you need like besides this i mean if you have like a lot of business obviously you're going to be upgrading you're going to be getting other stuff but this is a luxurious system according to this book here it is a luxurious uh they definitely focus on quality in here so it's actually quite nice i'm i'm very happy with this guy. so thank you so much for watching take care of yourself guys uh see you guys in my next video subscribe if you want to see me make them t-shirts uh, or watch some of my other videos. I have like over 700 videos on my channel right now. So, uh, thank you for watching guys. Please hit a like if you liked it. See you guys in my next video.